thank you for joining our session on how to secure and optimize AI ML workloads with Google Cloud's cross-cloud network solutions. I'm DP Ayadevra, Group Product Manager in the Cloud Networking team. I have my colleague Webhoff here presenting with me. Thank you. In today's session, we'll start by identifying the challenges organizations face in implementing AI ML training and inferencing use cases, followed by how Google Cloud can not only help address these challenges, but also accelerate the pace of innovation, adoption, and delivery of AI ML use cases by these organizations. We'll also cover what's new, what new services we are launching in 2025. As we look at the AI ML pipeline, there are three key stages, starting with data ingestion, followed by model training, and then by inferencing. Each of the stages have their unique requirements. Let's look at these requirements and some of the key challenges these requirements present to organizations that are developing AML services. First, ML training requires large amount of data to be transferred from on-prem or other clouds in a reliable, consistent, and cost-effective manner. Traditional network infrastructure may struggle to meet these requirements, resulting in unreliable and costly data movement. Second, ML training requires a high bandwidth low latency, and reliable networking fabric for faster training convergence with optimal price to performance ratio, while keeping the utilization of expensive ML accelerators pretty high. Third, large language model training can be constrained by limited scale of cluster size or the number of ML accelerators like GPUs that can be connected in a non-blocking network fabric for training. Fourth, the surge in Gen AI training demand has led to limited availability of ML accelerators, especially GPUs. Customers are looking for alternatives or ways to maximize their available capacity. Lastly, Kubernetes is becoming the most commonly adopted platform for AI ML workload orchestration. Enhancements are indeed needed to support large-scale AI training with seamless integration uh, with other parts of the infrastructure, including hybrid and multi-cloud. Given these challenges, what role does network play? How can networking address these? AI workloads demand a high performance network, from secure data ingestion for training to ultra low latency for model training and inference with GPUs and TPUs. Networking needs to ensure performance, reliability, and security across the entire AI ML pipeline. Let's talk about how cross-cloud network addresses these challenge, the, addresses the challenges organizations face in delivering these AI ML services. We talked about data ingestion requiring cost-effective, fast, and reliable on-prem to cloud and cross-cloud data movement. Cross-cloud network enables accelerated data movement for training across cloud environments and also from on-premises to cloud with predictive pricing, low latency, and high reliability. We said AI model training requires infrastructure to provide optimal price to performance ratio. Google Cloud has built fully non-blocking data center networks using Jupyter data center fabric and optical circuit switching to optimize large scale training jobs. Additionally, our titanium network architecture based offloads and RDMA and RDMA over converged ethernet deliver high performance and bandwidth between GPUs across nodes. One of the key challenges we mentioned earlier is how scalable data center networks are required for LLM training. Google Cloud empowers large-scale AI model training with petabyte-scale interzone and interregional bandwidth, enabling non-blocking GPU and TPU clusters. Moving on to availability of accelerators, Google has a clear differentiation in this regard with TPUs to address the supply gap for accelerators for AI training. Take a look at Trillium TPUs. We use Trillium TPUs to train the new Gemini 2.0 model, Google's most capable AI model yet. Enterprises can take advantage of the same powerful, efficient, and sustainable infrastructure. Hybrid and multi-cloud AI training with GKE multi-networking. We mentioned Kubernetes becoming the de facto platform for AI ML workloads. Google Kubernetes Engine is Google Cloud's managed Kubernetes service. GKE, with its latest data plane optimizations, can now support multiple network interfaces running on high-performance VPCs. This drives support for large-scale AI training while seamlessly integrating GKE with other parts of the infrastructure, including hybrid and multi-cloud. 
With GK Gateway and Cloud Load Balancing integration, we are able to optimize GPU and TPU utilization with model-aware traffic management. For cost-effective, fast, and reliable on-prem to cloud and cross-cloud data moment, we'll be introducing 400 gig interconnect this year, which will have four times the throughput than our 100 gig solution. Secondly, GKE now supports 65,000 nodes of GPUs and TPUs, enabling trillion parameter AI models. Our enhanced GKE scale and multi-networking provide improved performance, security, and flexibility for training, featuring iso traffic isolation, dual homing, and network segmentation. For ultimate performance, we introduce RDMA-based purpose-built VPCs. Experience high throughput and low latency with optimized GPU to GPU networking, boasting 3.2 terabits per second of non-blocking bandwidth, and supporting up to 10,000 GPUs per cluster with RDMA over converged Ethernet. Later this year, with A4 Ultra instance, we'll be increasing non-blocking cluster scale to 30,000 GPUs, supporting very large training models. So to summarize, in 2025, with these advanced and differentiated capabilities, we at Google Cloud are continuing on our journey to develop the planet's best platform for AI ML training workloads. Now let me invite Webhoff to talk about how we are innovating in the inferencing space. Yeah, thank you. So let me first talk about some of the broad themes we are hearing about customers who are running inference on large scale on their Kubernetes clusters. The first thing we hear is that GPU capacity across regions is still constrained. And if you uh, typically have a surge of demand or request in a single region, uh, you often end up with sometimes having application errors uh, because of having lack of capacity in that region to serve the workloads from. Secondly, traffic distribution for your LM workloads today is ineffective. Um, why that matters is that to serve the workloads with optimal performance, low latency, and high throughput requires a very different traffic distribution approach compared to traditional web serving. And finally, the amount of GPU to allocate for your workloads is a function of the size of the model, the type of request and this volume of requests that are coming in, the performance requirements of the workload, and of course, the underlying hardware that you're running from. And optimizing and uh, allocating the, just the right amount of GPU, TPU capacity is still a challenge for customers. To address these challenges, we are bringing in significant new innovations to Google Kubernetes Engine, starting with GK Inference Gateway. We are enhancing the underlying load balancing capability in GK Inference Gateway to more optimally distribute load, taking into account the particular LM workload patterns. And we'll learn about this in just a bit. As a result of this, we are able to load the latency and provide higher throughput of token generation. As a result, delivering better user experience for your LLM applications. Secondly, GK Inference Gateway can route to LoRa adapters, and as a result of which, you can now more densely pack fine-tuned models on a single GPU-TPU, and thereby increase the GPU-TPU efficiency and utilization, and also save you cost along the way. Next, GK Inference Gateway can actually route to backends across multiple Google Cloud regions. This helps you scale your workloads as your uh, request demand rises, and also helps you more easily obtain GPU, TPU capacity, no matter which Google Cloud region it is available from. And then finally, we also integrate AI safety and security with Google's model armor, as well as third-party products, right into GK Inference Gateway, allowing you more consistent and comprehensive security coverage across models running in your GK cluster. So now let's deep dive into the load balancing innovation that we are introducing here and uh, look at that in further detail. Traditionally, the way uh, load balancing works is often through like a, a round robin mechanism. Now this might have worked well for like traditional web serving workloads or traditional ML inference workloads where the request processing duration is, is only of the order of milliseconds. But for LM request, it's a very different traffic profile and workload profile. A single LM request might run for like of the, in the order of seconds to even minutes. And the decode process, the token generation and the output generation process is often a memory bound process in your GPUs and TPUs. As a result, what often ends up happening if you follow round robin algorithms is that your GPU TPUs uh, end up being unevenly utilized. 
and as a result, leading to poor performance. With GK Inference Gateway, we can actually look at uh, not only what is the type of the name of the model and do model aware routing, but also actually look at the KV cache utilization and the pending queue length at the GPUs and optimally route the request to the GPU and model replica that is the least loaded. As a result, we are able to deliver lower latency and higher throughput of serving performance, ultimately ensuring your applications like chatbots get a snappy and fast user experience. So now let's look at what we are doing in terms of improved GPU, TPU capacity obtainability. Now, traditionally, customers have uh, regional application stacks, and their inference stacks also uh, are tied to that region and are serving requests coming from that particular region. And if that particular region has any kind of capacity shortages, it leads to application errors, and applications also have to retry and have complex logic to retry across different regions. With GK Inference Gateway, the Inference Gateway can automatically um, route request to whichever region that has the available capacity, ensuring that you have more reliable applications and your applications can still be simple and regional, but yet seamlessly avail of the global capacity of GPUs and TPUs across Google Cloud regions. Coming over to security. Now, as we have seen in recent studies, that models often do not have the necessary kind of guardrails to protect themselves against uh, attacks like prompt injection, jailbreaking attacks, and sometimes even uh, ending up in disclosure of sensitive information. As, a, uh, as a, a control against this, we are introducing AI safety and security right at the gateway itself, allowing central platform teams and security teams to add their own layer of foundational AI security and safety measures and ensure that all the models in the cluster have a comprehensive level of security coverage. This is available not only as an integration with Google's Model Armor, but also other leading AI safety and security tools. So just recapping what we covered today. We talked about cross-cloud interconnect and 400 gig interconnect coming soon that gives you fast, reliable, and secure data movement across clouds and to on-premises for faster AI training. We talked about massive scale of your GK clusters uh, to allow you to even have up to 10,000 GPUs in a single cluster. And all of this powered with an RDMA VPC that gives you 3.2 terabits of non-blocking GPU to GPU bandwidth, helping you accelerate your training jobs and also deliver fast performance inference. And then finally, we have GK Inference Gateway that is helping you deliver faster inference with lower latency, higher throughput, better GPU, TPU capacity across regions, and also serving to lower adapters and helping you make more efficient use of your GPUs and TPUs. And then finally, better security with AI safety and security integrated right at the gateway. So thank you for watching, and we are super excited for you to try this out for your own applications. Thank you. Thank you.